Today, Apple has released watchOS 26 developer beta 6. This thing was quite small, came in only at 640 megabytes. Now this is less than a week since beta 5, which I believe was around like 1.5 gigs. So I'm not sure what to expect in this. This is like the start of the weekly beta releases. Usually we get like two or three, maybe sometimes four. We're getting close to the release. So I'm not sure how many we're gonna get. We're less than a month away from the release of watchOS or at least the announcement of the release of watchOS 26. So first let's go ahead and go into the settings, go to general, go to about, and the build number on this release is 23R5340. Four zero A. We're already to A. Like last one, I'm pretty sure was a G release, and now we're all the way down to A. If you don't know what that means, usually you go from like an F or a G and you keep going down until you get to A. And then after that, it kind of drops with the release candidate and the final release. So it's quite interesting to see an A already. I can see this going up to a B maybe with the next release. I don't really know if we're that close to the final version yet. So very interesting to see an A. I did not expect to see that so soon. Now, before we get started in looking at what's new, I did wanna say I get a lot of questions about this watch face. This is an Hermes only watch face, so you have to have the Apple Watch Hermes to get it. It's called the Hermes Radial. So just so you know, sadly, you have to actually pay the extra for the Hermes band to get an Hermes watch and that's the only way you get these faces. But let's go ahead and explore and see what we can find that's new. First off, I'm gonna go to this watch face just because this works better with the notification center, but if I go down into notification center, you can see this happened with the last beta and it's still there. We have that liquid glass design in the notification center now. So it has that cool see-through, you can see your watch face through it which is really fun. I'm glad to see that they're sticking with that. Now, I don't know if this is available on all watches that support watchOS 26, or if it's something to where you have to have like the series nine or series 10 and higher. So keep that in mind if you don't see it. A couple other things to look at is an accessibility. You can turn off transparencies if you've done that in the past you're not gonna probably get this interface either. Overall, the control center is still like the biggest upgrade that I was super excited about because it does so much more now. If we take a look, you can see I have the notes action because now we have Apple Notes on the Apple Watch with watchOS 26. We also have a reminders item and there's a couple other and they don't really work that well yet, but if we go into edit, hit the plus, Scroll down, we can see we have all these different sections that are, these are all from Apple apps, but then we also have third party apps. Now, right now, all these kind of control stuff on the phone rather than on the watch because they just haven't been developed for the watch yet. This won't happen until after watchOS 26 is released and those developers can actually submit apps for watchOS 26. But if I come in here, and let's go ahead and just tap there to get it out of edit mode. I can actually quickly add a new note directly from there. So you see it opens up the notes app and automatically starts dictating the note for me. Now, if it's not gonna automatically start dictating, maybe it will show you the keyboard or the swipe item. You can actually change that. It picks whatever the keyboard was last. So if I say I wanna have the regular keyboard, I'm gonna go ahead and hit done. And now I'm gonna come right back in here, hit that note thing again. And now you'll notice it actually picks the keyboard rather than the dictation. So if you get something like this and you'd rather have the dictation, just make sure you select that dictation item. And now that's gonna work every single time until you change it again. I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel right there. But if we scroll down, you can see the note that I saved and it just automatically saves it right there along with every other single note that I've ever created before. Really cool, I love having the Notes app directly on the watch. Makes it so much easier to get your thoughts down without having to pull out your phone or really do anything. I mean, you just quickly from the control center, add that little item in there and just tap it and go 
it is great and the control center is just going to get way more powerful from here now the workout and workout buddy thing seems to be about the same i haven't heard anything new here so we still have three different voices to choose from there's two girls and one guy voice so i can go ahead and play those real quick way to get your workout started way to get your workout started way to get your workout started so you got those three items right there and you can set them to come on with different alerts, whether it be a heart rate zone. So you can have different heart rate zones I'm gonna just keep that functionality off because I don't really care about that. I feel like they come in a lot more with that item than the other two. And I just like them popping up here and there just to give me a couple updates. So I set mine for every 10 minutes to just let me know. And then every mile, let me know how my stats are going. So it basically just says, hey, you're on mile number two and your average mile is this long and yada, yada, yada. But you can have the target alerts on. Right now it's outdoor walks. And the thing that I will say has that has improved a lot as the betas have gone on is the music. So if I come in here and I go to music, so you have picked for you or choose media. If you do the choose media, you can select your own playlist. Basically these will start playing whenever you start a workout. The picked for you has gotten way better. In the beginning, it wasn't that good. Didn't really like the options that it gave me, but it, Lately, it has been a spot on. I feel like it's definitely learned because when it picks songs that I didn't like, I did skip them and it's kind of just learned. So that AI is working really, really well. Also, one more note before I forget, the Workout Buddy, I believe, requires you to have an iPhone that can work with the Apple Intelligence. So you got to look at the 15 Pro models or the 16 lineup and, of course, the 17 lineup. So let's go ahead and close that out and go to what's next. So if we take a look at the watch faces right here, right now we still don't have any new watch faces. The only one that they gave us was that updated photos watch face that has the liquid glass time. But other than that, we're not gonna get a new one until maybe the release candidate, definitely not until like Apple announces and shows the new watch faces. So it could even be after the release candidate when it's finally released. I do love the way that they've kind of structured out the watch faces so you have different collections now. So it makes it a lot easier to find a watch face that you like or that fits that moment. And you can still scroll down and go to all watch faces and just scroll through every single one individually as well. Now they did remove a few watch faces, so just keep that in mind. I believe it was the fire and water watch face, the vapor watch face, the Toy Story watch face, and I feel like there was one more that had that same style to it. Um, but it kind of bites that they removed them because they really shouldn't have to. The Toy Story one, maybe there's something with whatever contract deal that they had going on there. Hopefully we'll get another one with Toy Story 5 coming out soon, but we'll just have to wait and see on that. So if we go ahead, go out of the watch faces, another thing with the watch faces is that more watch faces now support the always on second hand with the series 10 obviously this is going to work with the series 11 and ultra 3 as well it takes a few times to get this to actually go into always on mode there we go so now you can see on this watch face in watch os 11 we didn't have the always second hand that only really worked for the flux and the reflections watch face, but now it works on more, but still not all. So if we go ahead and go into here, and obviously Mickey Mouse isn't gonna tap his foot. I thought it would be really cool if they could still do that one on this one. This is the reflection, so that one works. And these, I really wish these would, because I think that would look really cool having that animation, but this also kind of moves up and around as the time goes on too. So that may just have a little bit too much movement going on for Apple to really feel like that slower refresh rate would do this one justice. So you gotta remember, cause that's how this works is the watch can have, it's got a variable refresh rate now and it can go real slow. So that's how that actually gets updated. 
And of course, you know, some watch faces work, some watch faces don't. I feel like some of the ones that don't should still be able to work, but a lot of them have a lot more going on. So I feel like that's probably why. Something else I wanted to check out that I haven't checked out in a while is with this complication. It's the now playing complication. They ruined it in a few, like back with, I don't know if it was 11 or 10 at this point. I think it was 11. But if we go to now playing, there's still no real now playing. It's just this suggested. So it just, ugh. the now playing was so much better than this. You could actually see the song and info that was actually now playing and it would take you directly to control that. Now it's like this suggested. And I think when you tap on one, it eventually will start playing that podcast or song, depending on what you've listened to last. And right now, of course, it's not. It's just very unlike Apple-like. I don't know. It's just very clunky and just does not work well. And I know it's made a lot of you angry. So I'm still pointing it out, you know, maybe at Apple or whatever. I doubt they watch my content. But if they ever do, let's fix this and let's get back to the now playing. Because we already have, I'm pretty sure, like the music complication or whatever. I think there's already one, maybe they removed it. Yeah, it looks like, so music, if you go to music, you have recently played. So it's still the exact same thing basically, but this one just focuses on music. I'm guessing the podcast just focuses on the podcast and the now playing focuses on both. But either way, it's just not good and it just, doesn't work that well to begin with. So hopefully Apple does something there to help. In case you're wondering what this icon is, this is my step count. It's an app that I'm working on myself. So the progress bar kind of fills up as you get closer to your step goal. It's not out yet. I eventually, hopefully want to have it out by the time watchOS 26 is released, but we'll have to wait and see. Like. I don't have too much time to work on it, so I've just been working on it here and there. The goal is to have this step count match the step count right here. So it's gonna take a second, it's gonna update. Right now, this step count is a little bit higher. That's because I've worn my other Apple Watch today as well. I haven't worn both of them much at all because I've been testing different things, but I gotta try to figure out how to make sure even if you have more than one watch, that this step count will stay in sync with that. So that's my current like headache that I'm trying to get past. Once I get past that, I'm gonna continue just improving the look. Cause obviously, you know, I want this to look better. I don't like the white on a watch face that offers so many color options. All right, let's take a minute cause the feedback app has been updated. So here is what Apple is reporting that is new in this build, which is not much, I will say. Like I was hoping that we'd have like this new accessibility thing that's been there, fixed model quality. So that's something with Apple intelligence. Apple Watch Hermes crash, that was back in beta two. So they kind of just copy and paste this stuff. They don't really give us much like new stuff. It's usually just the same stuff over and over and over. So hopefully we'll get something new when, with the final release. I know we'll definitely get new watch faces, but hopefully we'll still, hopefully Apple still has a surprise Obviously the series 11 and ultra three are rumored to bring a lot of cool stuff, including possibly having the uh, long awaited blood pressure monitoring ability. It's not going to be exact, but either way, whatever it is, I'm super excited about it. If it actually comes to the watch. Now, I also like to look on Reddit and see what people are saying there about the betas. So let's go ahead and scroll down and see what people have to say here. People are installing it. Um, control center is not working on the Ultra 2 for some reason. Probably a restart. Oh, that's what it says. Maybe restart will help. So that one, I'm guessing they have the Ultra 2 as well. So probably a restart will actually fix that. Um, the burn calories. I've heard this person or somebody complain about the burn calories during workouts not working as accurately. Um, it's looking like anyone having issues getting past show after hard resetting their phone. So nothing major, like the dictation keyboard is available and working for me. 
I already showed you guys that working. Let's go out and see if anybody else is seeing anything else. So here's that person again with the Ultra 2 showcasing that. Oh, I did want to say in Beta 5, there was a new action button if you have it installed on the Ultra. So we'll take a look at that. I love that animation. That looks so good. I'm not sure if that only works on the Ultra 2 or if that's an Ultra 1 feature as well. That makes me want to install it on my Ultra to see how that works because that looks cool. The way it just like flows out, that looks so much better than the old one. So battery life on Beta 5 was great. I didn't really have any issues there. And I don't expect to have any real bad issues on this one as well. So if I scroll down to battery, I'm at 66% right now. This is actually the second attempt to record this video. And that's mainly because I had audio issues in the first one, but my battery health is still at 100%. I usually get about 36 hours of battery life out of the watches. So I'm not expecting that to really change probably still get around that. So overall, pretty solid. If you're interested in this watch band at all, highly recommend it. I'm trying to remember the company name. I think it's called Kansu or something like that. This is a real genuine leather watch band insanely thin which is so comfortable like it automatically fits to form your wrist no problem there is a super durable inner layer that keeps it really strong i've had this band for probably nine months now i've worn it a ton it has aged great the color on it still looks really good you can see there's a little worn right there that's because that's where i normally have it pinned i pin it a little tighter for the watch band stand when I record. But overall, amazing watch band. I'll put a link down below if you're interested in that. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. God bless.